Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is all about handlebars, specifically the Rizoma MA011B for black bars. Much lower in profile than the standard bars, a little bit shorter too, 20 millimeters on each side, so 40 millimeters overall. Uh, much better for lane splitting. Uh, these bars are fantastic. They, it gives the bike a, a much sportier uh, look. I've taken it for a good, good ride uh, through the mountains. Uh, very, very comfortable bar. I'm very, very happy with them. Now, this video is not about the removal and reattachment of, of bars. There are a lot of YouTube videos out there how to do that. This is just about uh, drilling the holes through your new bars, which is what's required to uh, uh, reattach your switch blocks and your, uh, you know, your throttle tube uh, to your new bars. Uh, to be honest with you, I was a little bit nervous uh, drilling into brand new bars. Uh, they're $189 here in Australia. You only get one shot at it. Uh, if you screw up, you're up for a new set of bars. Uh, so I was a little bit nervous. I looked into jigs that you can buy which attach onto the bar and you can use as a guide to drill through to get your holes perfectly through the bar. They're about 60 bucks, um, which I thought was just too expensive to, to drill two holes and then throw the thing in the bottom drawer, never to be used again. So I came up with a little idea which I thought I'd share with you, which should make it a little bit easier uh, for you to drill those holes in your bars. All right, stand by. Okay, here are the stock bars uh, on the left side. You'll notice the hole that's drilled through. Hopefully you can, the camera will pick it up. Uh, that hole is actually threaded. Okay, the threads serve no purpose, so you don't need to uh, uh, tap the hole that you're going to drill through your bars, okay? Now, what I did was I measured with my square from the outside of the bar to the centre of the hole. Uh, that was 119 millimetres. Do your own measurements. It, it might be you know, a little bit uh, different than mine, but mine was 119 millimetres on the left side and 146 millimetres uh, on the right. Uh, today's video is sponsored by Asahi Super Dry, a very nice Japanese beer. Now, uh, what I did first was, once I mounted the new bars on the bike and I got them in the position uh, that I wanted them to be in, I remounted the original the switch block uh, exactly in the position I wanted it. Then I got a pencil and uh, made a mark through the hole uh, where the, the, the bolt uh, attaching bolt goes through, made a little uh, mark on the bar. Then what I did was I made a little little jig, and I'll show you how to make it. I got this little collar, this one, I'll turn off the flash, make it a bit easier to see. This little PVC connector, um, I don't know what it's used for, but I found it in the plumbing section of uh, you know my local hardware sh store. And this thing has an internal diameter of exactly 22 millimeters, which is exactly what uh, you know the diameter of the bars is. So this little PVC connector, fortunately, came with little casting lines on either side, 180 degrees opposed, which is perfect for what I want. If this, uh, you know, this will work if you get some tube, aluminium pipe, or something with an internal diameter of uh, 22 mil. That's cool. You'll need to. You know, you've got to drill a hole that's exactly 180 degrees opposed. Okay, so you'd have to put that uh, in a vise, center it, uh, use a drill press to make sure that the holes are exactly centered. But for this, what I did, I just popped it on the bench, got a fine marker, uh, rotated the PVC pipe around where it made a little mark across the casting seam. Okay, you can just see it there. Then I grabbed a little push pin and uh, you know push it in exactly where the lines intersected. And uh, then I just used a small, small one millimeter drill bit to uh, make a pilot hole. Then I got the 3.5 millimeter bit, which is what's required to drill out your bars. Now I, I do suggest getting a brand new bit, nice and sharp. Uh, it does make the job a lot easier. And then I drilled the 3.5 mil, millimeter holes uh, through the uh, PVC. Uh, and it looks something like this. So you'll notice that the holes are exactly 180 degrees opposed. Then I just lopped it off to form this little uh, collar. Okay. Now what I did then was I fit the collar over the mark that I made. And then I 
measured it again to make sure it's exactly 119 millimeters. Um, so that means the, uh, the the holes will be exactly in the same position as the the stock bars. Okay, and then I taped the collar to the bars before drilling. So it'll look something like this. Okay, so it doesn't doesn't move. So then grab the 3.5 millimeter bit and made uh, start drilling not all the way through just a little bit of the way through on both sides okay then I removed the uh, the collar and then I drilled through this side and then I drilled through the other side and uh, the lines were, were just perfectly lined up okay so do that on both sides uh, easy this thing cost me about a dollar twenty uh, much better than sixty bucks switch box uh, fit absolutely perfectly as you can see here no hassle whatsoever uh, very very easy solution uh, you know it takes away all the, the nerves of uh, drilling through your brand new bars uh, as usual any comments criticisms questions leave them uh, in the comments below uh, please uh, subscribe like the video hit that bell notification for more video uh, notification more videos that i'll be posting up in the near future and uh, Hope to catch you soon. Bye-bye.